I'm just having one of those weird days. Okay? The way to put it. Okay. I go to the site where a uh, social site where I play this one game, but I mainly go there so I can write for the Lord and where I, I get these other people to the, uh, as part of the game to go check out who's participating in it and they end up reading about Jesus. I told some people that I know that I've been having, I disagree with a lot of the things that are going on there and these people have Christian, a lot of them, on their on their profiles and they they say a lot of things that bother me some of them but I don't really associate with these people but there are only a couple of them a couple that I consider friends that I've made that the Lord introduced me to in different countries that are around my age and various ages that are ill and the need of somebody to go lay hands on them which is what I do. Now I have people that they want to they, they want to want to friend you on that game, you know. The thing is, they're always changing their pictures and their profiles. It's something that you can do. It's something I do not control. Okay, I don't. Today you got a picture of you standing there with a smile, looking normal with your dog or something. I don't know what you got on it tomorrow. I don't look every day. I got other things to do. I got a life. I do home ministry here. I was terminally ill. Okay. And I'm getting knocked for being past due for the grave, but doing what God wanted me to do, writing positive, uplifting messages, encouraging people. And that's what I've been doing. And I get I got some hate mail. Right? Hey, hey, were all of you perfect before Jesus came into your life? I know I wasn't. And he wanted his word preached to all of creation, right? And when he wanted me to do some writing for him there, hey, I, uh, I was nervous, but I did. Right? I, I got some hate over there too, you know, from some atheists and some witches. And I got a lot of resistance to pro-Christian writing there. But I'm not the only one there. There are other Christians there trying to make a difference, casting seeds, looking for that one lost sheep. Because they know that Jesus is rejoicing, right? I even commented a couple of people that some of the things I saw made me really offended me and it made me feel like I actually wanted to vomit. And yet these same people are giving me a hard time about being there and writing for the Lord when the Jesus is the one who wants to be there in the first place. I've been, I've been there for years writing for him because that's what he wanted. These are the people, you know, like, it's like the guys in the Bible said, uh, hey, Lord, come hang with us. You don't want to hang with those people. They're sinners, right? And they said, no, no, man, it's a sick that needs a physician, right? Well, I happen to be the physician in this case, right? That he's sending, right? He had me there to run into some people that are in different countries than I am because he wants me to go travel around a free country and lay some hands on people. But he's got many others doing. He just wants me to do it too. No big deal. He's got other people doing it. He's got different people doing all kinds of different things. My seasons with people are short. Right? Uh, because he's got me running around doing a lot of things. Well, some sit in chat rooms or whatever else they do or Whatever they got to doing through their day, I had none of that really. I was terminally ill, falling down, having strokes and heart attacks all the time, but still writing for the Lord, and now I don't have them. And I'm getting more grief now that He healed me than before when I was terminally ill and having passed through the grave. I'm getting more hardship from supposed Christians than I was even when I was sick, right? There's a difference. I know that Jesus is real. I know that He loves me. And even though I may get a little bit of hate mail from some people, my God loves me enough to heal me, fix me, and give me a job. And he's also provided the funds so I can travel the planet and lay hands on the people that he wanted me to meet so I could go lay hands on them. Well, I am richly blessed because I didn't have to do that much. I, I was just doing this toll, and even though some of it didn't make sense at the time, all the pieces fell into place, and I know why I was there in the first place to run into these people that actually believed that needed some encouragement and some lift, uplifting, and someone to go lay hands on them later. And that's me. It's a real rocky road sometimes when you walk in that raising ledge. And I told a few people there's a fine line between 
um, upper loop worm, uh, I mean, lower, um, uh, upper loop worm, yeah, and lower hot. Uh, you just, yeah, something I just don't understand still. So. And I will be moving on shortly. And I'm so glad of that.